Have you ever pondered the limitless power of your mind? In this journey we are about to embark upon, we uncover how our thoughts are not mere whispers in the wind, but powerful magnets shaping our reality. We are what we think, Buddha once said, and with this ancient wisdom, we explore a dual perspective of our thoughts. As architects of our world, and as patterns that can either empower us or trap us in negative spirals. Are you ready to transform your way of thinking, and with it, your life? This video is your first step on a transformative journey, an invitation to assess and redirect your thoughts toward a more positive and fulfilling destination. The Power of Positive Thinking Thoughts, often misconceived as ephemeral wisps of the mind, are in fact deeply ingrained in the very fabric of our brain's architecture. They are not fleeting shadows but enduring imprints etched into our synaptic connections. Recent neuroscientific research provides compelling evidence for this phenomenon. Every thought we entertain triggers a cascade of neurochemical reactions within our brains. These reactions strengthen the neural pathways that are engaged when we think certain thoughts. Therefore, when we repeatedly entertain positive thoughts, we are essentially fortifying the neural pathways that support positivity. The concept of neuroplasticity further illuminates this process. Our brains are not rigid, unchanging structures but are malleable and adaptable. Each new experience, thought or emotion can lead to the formation of new neural pathways and the weakening of old ones. This means that the consistent practice of positive thinking can physically alter the structure of our brains, enhancing areas associated with positive emotions and weakening those linked to negative thoughts. Moreover, the field of psychoneuroimmunology has begun to explore how our mental state can influence our physical health. Positive thoughts and emotions have been shown to bolster our immune system, reduce stress, and improve our overall well-being. This mind-body connection underscores the power of positive thinking, not just as a tool for mental transformation, but also as a catalyst for physical health and vitality. Furthermore, the law of attraction, a principle rooted in quantum physics, suggests that our thoughts can shape our reality. By focusing on positive outcomes and maintaining an optimistic mindset, we attract similar energies and opportunities into our lives. This isn't mere speculation, but is backed by studies demonstrating how a positive mindset can lead to better life outcomes, including career success, healthier relationships, and improved mental health. Cultivating positive thoughts is not just a feel-good mantra, it's a practice supported by science. It's about transforming our mental landscape, which in turn reshapes our brain's structure and function, leading to profound changes in our lives. By nurturing positive thoughts, we light a beacon within ourselves, guiding us toward manifesting our deepest desires and unlocking our full potential. Decluttering for clarity and focus. With this being said, we pivot to a crucial aspect of self-improvement and spirituality, the art of decluttering. This process extends far beyond the physical act of tidying up our living spaces. It's an introspective journey, a deliberate removal of life's excesses that cloud our vision and impede our progress. This segment delves into the transformative power of purging redundant activities, toxic relationships and detrimental thoughts from our lives. The concept of decluttering is rooted in the understanding that our external environment often mirrors our internal state. A cluttered room can reflect a cluttered mind, and similarly, a cluttered life can signify a lack of focus and direction. By consciously removing the non-essential elements that consume our time, energy, and mental space, we create room for clarity and purpose. This process begins with identifying what truly matters. It involves a critical examination of our daily activities, the people we interact with, and most importantly, the thoughts we entertain. Are these elements adding value to our lives? Do they align with our goals and aspirations? If the answer is no, it may be time to let them go. The act of decluttering can be liberating but also challenging. It requires us to confront habits, relationships, and thought patterns that may have been part of our lives for years. However, the benefits are profound. 
By eliminating toxic relationships, we open ourselves to connections that uplift and support us. By saying no to redundant activities, we free up time to focus on what truly advances our goals. And by discarding negative thought patterns, we clear the mental fog, allowing our minds to focus with laser-sharp precision on our objectives. Moreover, decluttering is not a one-time act, but a continuous process. It's about regularly taking stock of our lives, reassessing our priorities, and making conscious choices that align with our personal growth and happiness. This ongoing practice creates a sanctuary of focused energy, a space where distractions are minimized and our goals can flourish. As we journey through the continuous cycle of decluttering, it becomes a transformative ritual rather than a daunting task. We learn to embrace change, adapt to new circumstances, and welcome growth with open arms. This ritualistic cleansing of our external and internal worlds becomes a testament to our commitment to personal evolution and a life lived with intention. It's about nurturing a sustainable lifestyle that accommodates growth, learning, and the constant pursuit of our highest potential. In conclusion, decluttering for clarity and focus is not merely about creating a tidy environment or a minimalist lifestyle. It's a profound metaphor for intentional living. By stripping away the unnecessary, we are left with the essence of who we are and what we aspire to be. This clarity of purpose and space empowers us to move forward with confidence, make decisions that resonate with our true selves, and ultimately lead a more focused, fulfilling, and enlightened life. This segment invites viewers to consider decluttering as an essential step towards achieving clarity, focus, and a deeper connection with their journey and goals. Merging focus with action. As we move from the concept of decluttering, where we clear out the non-essential to gain clarity, we focus on actively shaping our lives with intention and action. This isn't just about setting goals, it's about making informed, deliberate steps to achieve them, armed with the clarity we've gained. Consider this. Research in the field of psychology suggests that setting specific and challenging goals can lead to higher performance. This is where intention comes in. It's about defining what we want in clear, specific terms. Tools like vision boards or detailed lists can be incredibly effective. A study from Dominican University found that people who wrote down their goals, shared them with others, and maintained accountability were 33% more likely to achieve them compared to those who just formulated goals in their minds. But knowing what we want is only part of the journey. The other, equally important part is taking action. It's about making consistent, daily efforts towards our goals. The beauty of action is that it creates momentum. According to Newton's first law of motion, an object in motion stays in motion. The same can be applied to our habits. Once we start taking action, it becomes easier to continue doing so. The synergy between intention and action is powerful. When we clearly define our goals and then pair them with consistent action, we create a force that propels us forward. This isn't just about achieving specific goals. It's about the transformation that occurs within us. We become more proactive, more resilient, and more aligned with our true desires. In this journey of intentional living, we're not just dreamers, we're doers. Every day becomes a chance to move closer to our dreams. It's about making our actions count, filling our days with meaningful steps toward our goals. This is what it means to live a life that's not just about going through the motions, but one that's actively and purposefully lived. By combining clear intentions with deliberate actions, we're not just hoping for a better life, we're creating it. This is the essence of living not just by chance, but by choice. Continuing from this powerful synergy of intention and action, we delve deeper into how this approach transforms not just our goals, but our entire life experience. This isn't just about ticking off objectives, it's about cultivating a mindset that thrives on progress and fulfillment. When we align our actions with our intentions, we're essentially programming ourselves for success. This alignment leads to a more focused and efficient approach to life. For instance, a study by the University of Scranton suggests that only 8% of people achieve their New Year's resolutions. 
This low success rate often stems from a disconnect between intentions and actions. By ensuring that our actions consistently reflect our goals, we significantly increase our chances of success. Moreover, this intentional way of living has profound psychological benefits. It contributes to a sense of purpose and well-being. Psychologists have found that having a purpose in life is linked to several positive health outcomes, including better mental health and a longer lifespan. When our daily actions are purpose-driven and aligned with our deeper goals, we live more fulfilling lives. This approach also teaches us the value of adaptability and resilience. Not every action will lead directly to a goal, and not every goal will remain unchanged. The key is to stay flexible and to learn from each step. This mindset turns challenges into opportunities for growth and learning, rather than setbacks. The journey of aligning our intentions with our actions is about more than achieving goals. It's about creating a life that resonates with who we are and who we aspire to be. It's about moving from passive existence to active creation, where every choice is a building block for the future we desire. This is the art of living intentionally, a dynamic, fulfilling way to navigate our path through life. By embracing this approach, we don't just wait for opportunities, we create them. We don't just dream, we do. Cultivating gratitude. As we embrace the art of living intentionally, aligning our actions with our intentions, we naturally flow into the realm of gratitude. This transition is not just a change in topic, but a deeper evolution in our journey of self-improvement. Cultivating gratitude is a key element in this process, acting as a magnet for positivity and abundance in our lives. John F. Kennedy once said, as we express our gratitude, we must never forget that the highest appreciation is not to utter words, but to live by them. This powerful statement underscores the essence of gratitude. It's not just about feeling thankful, it's about letting this gratitude shape our actions and interactions. Gratitude is more than a fleeting emotion, it's a state of being. When we regularly acknowledge and appreciate the good in our lives, we shift our focus from what we lack to what we have. This shift has a profound impact on our mindset and overall well-being. Numerous studies, including those mentioned in the book The Happiness Advantage by Sean Accor, have shown that gratitude can increase happiness, improve health, and foster both personal and professional relationships. Incorporating gratitude into our daily routine can be simple yet transformative. It can be as straightforward as maintaining a gratitude journal, where we jot down things we're thankful for each day. This practice not only helps in recognizing the blessings we often overlook, but also in cultivating a habit of seeking out the positive in every situation. Moreover, gratitude can be a powerful tool in overcoming challenges. When faced with difficulties, taking a moment to reflect on the aspects of our lives that we're grateful for can provide a sense of perspective and calm. It reminds us that even in tough times, there are glimmers of positivity and hope. In essence, weaving gratitude into the fabric of our lives enriches our journey. It's a practice that nurtures positivity and abundance, transforming not just our mindset, but also our actions. By living a life steeped in gratitude, we open ourselves to a world of possibilities and joy. It's about turning gratitude from a mere feeling into a daily practice, a guiding principle that shapes our approach to life. This is the power of gratitude. It's not just about being thankful for what we have. It's about allowing this thankfulness to propel us into a life of abundance and fulfillment. Letting go and forgiveness. Embracing the practice of gratitude, which teaches us to acknowledge and appreciate the abundance in our lives, naturally leads us into the transformative realm of letting go and forgiveness. This part of our journey is about understanding the power of release a crucial step toward achieving mental and spiritual liberation. Letting go is often misunderstood as a sign of weakness or giving up. In reality, it is a courageous act of acknowledging that not everything in life is within our control. It's about understanding that clinging too tightly to ideas, people or outcomes can lead to a perpetual state of dissatisfaction and disappointment. 
The art of letting go involves releasing our grip on the illusion of control and allowing life to flow naturally, as beautifully encapsulated in the words of the Taoist philosopher Lao Tzu. By letting go, it all gets done. The world is won by those who let it go. But when you try and try, the world is beyond winning. Consider the story of a mountain climber who determined to reach the summit, faces unexpected severe weather. As the storm intensifies, the climber is forced to make a decision, continue the perilous climb or retreat to safety. In this moment, the climber must let go of their initial goal to embrace the wisdom of survival. This story mirrors our own lives. Sometimes, we must let go of one goal to make room for new, perhaps more meaningful opportunities. Closely linked to letting go is the practice of forgiveness. Forgiveness is not about condoning hurtful actions or forgetting the pain caused. It's about releasing the burden of resentment and anger that we carry. It's a gift we give ourselves, a key to unlocking the chains of negativity that bind us. The renowned writer and Holocaust survivor Cory Ten Boom once said, Forgiveness is the key that unlocks the door of resentment and the handcuffs of hatred. It is a power that breaks the chains of bitterness and the shackles of selfishness. Embracing forgiveness can be transformative. It involves acknowledging the pain, learning from the experience, and then letting it go. This process can lead to profound mental and emotional healing. Research has shown that forgiveness can lead to lower levels of anxiety, depression, and major psychiatric disorders. It's a journey towards inner peace, a path to reclaiming our power and agency. Integrating the practices of letting go and forgiveness into our lives might involve mindfulness techniques, such as meditation or journaling, where we consciously reflect on our experiences and choose to release the emotions that no longer serve us. It could also involve therapy or counseling, where guided by a professional, we navigate the complexities of our emotions and learn to let go and forgive. In mastering the arts of letting go and forgiveness, we open ourselves to a life of peace, balance and fulfillment. We learn to embrace life's ebb and flow with acceptance and find strength in our ability to adapt and evolve. This is the essence of true freedom, a state of being where we are no longer prisoners of our past, but architects of our present and future. Conclusion As we continue on this path, each step becomes a testament to our growth and a reflection of our inner transformation. This journey is not linear, it is filled with twists and turns, ups and downs. Yet each challenge we face and overcome, each moment of doubt we push through, adds depth and resilience to our character. We learn that the journey itself is as important as the destination. In this process, we discover the power of small, consistent actions. Often, it's the little steps, the daily habits, that accumulate and lead to significant change. It's like building a mosaic. Each small piece might seem insignificant on its own, but when put together, they create a stunning picture. This realization empowers us to keep moving forward, even when progress seems slow. It teaches us patience and the understanding that great things are often the sum of small, well-executed parts. Moreover, this journey teaches us about balance. While we strive for our goals, we also learn to appreciate the present moment. This balance is crucial. It keeps us grounded and prevents us from getting lost in the pursuit of future achievements at the expense of today's joys. Mindfulness plays a key role here reminding us to savor the here and now, even as we work towards tomorrow. The emotional richness of this journey cannot be overstated. As we declutter, let go, forgive, visualize and act, we experience a spectrum of emotions, from the initial discomfort of change to the exhilaration of achieving our goals. Each emotion is a guide, teaching us more about ourselves and how we interact with the world around us. We learn to embrace our emotions, not as obstacles, but as integral parts of our human experience. In essence, this journey is about coming into our own, realizing our potential and living our lives to the fullest. It's about understanding that we are the architects of our reality and that with intention, action and mindfulness, 
we can create a life that is not only successful, but also deeply satisfying and meaningful. As we move forward, we carry with us the lessons learned, the strength gained, and the wisdom acquired. We are no longer the same people who started this journey. We are more aware, more empowered, and more aligned with our true purpose. This is the beauty of our journey. It's a continuous process of becoming, of evolving, and of realizing the immense power that lies within each of us to shape our lives and our world.